Michael channel. The Michael channel. Where dreams are made of. What does Hold it on, mean I'm gonna be back in a man? second. Many people will say, oh, you have to pick up a rock. You have to pick up a big stick or a stone uh, in order to be a man. Others will retort, well, what if you pick, what if you pull a sword out of that rock and slay a single enemy, a single foe? Does that make you a man? Well, the answer is it depends. And because it varies so much, you know, everyone has a different idea of what it means to be a man, and that's why masculinity is so confusing. And so, today we're going to be looking at some hot masculinity takes, okay? Basically, some things you read and you say, why would you think that or say that? I haven't looked at any of these yet, so it's going to be a bit of a react, but it's an account that has some interesting posts, and we're going to check them out now. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, the value of c is going to spike. <laughs> Sorry, there's just no more masculine way to talk about yourself than comparing yourself to a stock. The coronavirus affects the corona of a male's penis. This will drastically increase the alpha male beta male divide. Women are going to start fighting for c in order to become pregnant. <laughs> fighting for c is such a visceral, like, I'm picturing women in like a field, fist fighting, and then a c springs up out of like the out of the grass and they all dive for it and then they're punching and grabbing hair what does any of this mean what is the corona of the penis the corona of glands penis or penis crown refers to the circumference of the base of the glands penis in human yeah. males oh wait okay the coronavirus invades cells in the penis and testicles of you guys want to see how fucking insane how much how much hair i have this was all my beard hair dude it looks like pubes but Nutty. That's a lot of hair, bro. I'm trying to smoke on this, dude. There's a lot of white in there too. Look at the look at how many white hairs I have in my beard. You can literally see the white hairs. That's crazy. Who wants this? I will sell it. Who wants this? Who wants it for their who wants it for their shrine at home? Do you want it? Put it on eBay for charity? I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. Okay. Monkeys, researchers say. So he might be a monkey type tweeting this, typing this, and saying, look, all right, for me and all my monkey friends and buddies, we're, our wieners are fucked. And so make sure you wear your monkey mask and don't let the female monkeys all try and grab your wiener if it's sick. Let's just let's just stop talking about wieners. Uh, next one, here we go. I'm 23 and I hate dating in this generation. Chivalry is dead. Oh, brother. Masculinity is called toxic when it's actually the foundation of the world? Let's crack open this globe and see a damn Clint Eastwood or some crap. <laughs> Men like Elon Musk are vilified, while wimps like L Zelensky are lionized. I'm going to start a podcast soon. Follow me for when it starts. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I, that's, I... The tagging of Elon Musk is what really makes this, because it's like, you know she's trying to get him to see it. And his little insecure little ass scrolling the timeline, re refreshing his notifications, you know he's going to see it. Chivalry is such a funny talking point, because it's like, chivalry is just like doing something nice and considerate for someone, but for dudes only. <laughs> and so chivalry being dead just means like, oh, if I'm walking up and the girl I'm seeing wants to open the door for me, I'm not going to like stop her and be like, don't do that. That's for boys. You're gathering berries. You don't have the strength to open the door to this amc theater what are you doing because what it does is it allows like just the pressure to be laid off of like both parties to act a certain way and if someone opens the door i can appreciate that and be like that's very sweet of you to do thank you i don't know weird weird tweet for sure definitely a hot masculinity take go check out her podcast see what's up i don't i don't care whatever you can't call yourself an alpha male and have an asian wife okay Wow. Computer, load up a map of the world and where Asia is, put a big soy label. Everyone there is soy. All the men there are soy because they have Asian wives or they- True! Wa yeah. What? So. <laughs> Normal men don't feel comfortable in churches for the same reason they don't want to linger in the women's clothing section at a store. It feels overly feminine. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to give your heart and soul to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? What is it about church that has this guy freaking out? Uh, while he's sitting there or maybe while he's kneeling it's getting on your knees that makes him 
feel normal men don't stay in the women's section because it's for girls and it's that makes you gay. <laughs> and I think the number one reason you wouldn't stay in the women's section of a clothing store is because you're just not, that's not what you're shopping for. But if you were there for some reason, you're with someone that was shopping in that section, do you like feel threatened by that or something? You've, it makes you feel abnormal? That's, I don't know, it's just, it's funny, man. I get the whole walking by Victoria's Secret and like keeping your head straight, you know? Like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. But that's more of when you're a child at the mall, you don't want to be seen as like a weird guy. I remember having to go inside one of those places to get perfume for someone for some gift. It might have been my girlfriend in middle school or something. And that definitely felt abnormal, but just because it was way too smelly and way too, uh, way too lingerie all up in my child face. Okay, wait here, there's some more context here. Go on, what precisely is overly feminine to you? He says, one example, easy example, is the content of many modern worship songs. Bro, is he saying fellas is believing in God and singing gay? Like, is that what it is? I mean, this is like, this This basically goes back to the exact same fucking thing where, where it's like, like anything and everything you do is gay. I saw TikTok where like some, um, some woman was like, oh, um, some woman basically was like, oh, you know, Imagine uh, being called gay for being feminine. Like, fellas, uh, I love your that you're in touch with your feminine side and it's great or whatever. And then this dude was like, dude, they called me gay for not wanting to play, uh, like, bloody knuckles. Like, they, I grew up in the 2000s. Like, they called me gay for everything. You know what I mean? My brother called me the... Yeah, my brother called me the F word because, like, I didn't want to... What was it? I forget what it was. Like, because I did my homework or something. So, like... This is basically a, a remnant of that, which is you're gay for literally doing anything and everything. Let's continue. Songs. We shall overcome. Come. It's about come. Whoa. Hey, we're inside now. Sorry about that. Just got to really quick thank the sponsor of today's video. Boom. You get the video by red, red flag. And then it's just photos, some photos of some cute cups. You know, of all the things to get mad at any of these, the people in these photos about. It's such an odd choice for it to be that you don't want to f their wife. <laughs> but this definitely does speak to uh, a social norm of the attractiveness of your partner being a virtue, it being a sense of social status beyond your own attractiveness to them. I think growing up, I, I, I felt that a lot, the sort of sense of pride you have of, sh you know, look, look who I'm, pulling up with blah 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 blah, 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 but at a certain point, you gotta realize that, that it's just, it's all a performance, and a performance you don't have to be making, you don't have to value your own self and the person you're with's uh, worth based on wh what your boys think. Extremely shallow and shit way to live a life. That does make it so that instead of, you know, being with someone that you like, you're with a number. A number out of ten, that's what people know. And most women love, absolutely adore, being reduced to a number on a chart. That's they, they live, they love it. Imagine having less than 10 children because you're a pussy bitch who doesn't have four wives. Genetic failures. So this is Andrew Tate on his Twitter account, reinstated by Elon Musk, by the way. And I'm not, I'm just not even gonna, it's just, it's bait, you know? It's always bait, every time. Like if at any point I become the type of YouTuber that looks at something like that and says, wow, dude, that's really messed up, bro. You're, that's crazy that you'd say that. Someone just drive to my house and shoot my slash my on racket or a hammer or meta ball and kill forever because that's not we don't that's we don't need to do that we just don't as a married man why do you have women as friends women in my life are my family my wife my best friend women i work with not friends my wife's friends not my friends my friends wives not my friends no women do i call or hang out with without my wife well just to answer your question bro he's just bitchless dude chronically dude sorry uh i'm the doctor just fucking diagnosed you with being chronically with devoid of pussy okay straight up zero riz zero bitches okay holy fuck dude more maidenless than motherfucking elden ring okay question i think that married men would want to have women as friends because they'd want to have women as friends <laughs> this is the type of guy to be walking down the street and a woman walks by and says hi how you doing and he goes ah ah i'm married i'm married i'm married 
I'm married. I'm married. Like, what is that insecurity? Why? Why? This probably stems from that idea that men and women can't truly ever be friends because someone's going to want to... Which, okay, sure, it's a very dated thing to think and abide by, but if that's the case for you, that's fine. But you're married now, so you're... That's... You... It's all... You found that person, so what's... <laughs> you can't, like, just treat somebody as a human being without wanting to f*** them or whatever? I don't know. Weird stuff on the web today as a father of daughters i'm already training them to expect my judgment on courtship and marriage before but what is this dude immediately red flag bro you got this look it's like it's over that's not happening you know what i mean that's not a good look bro though i'll vet their suitor rigorously his position on education says you yeah no shit dude that's why i fucking am slowly but surely Fixing it. Shut his up. His position on mothers working. His position on natural law in regard to the marriage debt. Jennifer C Jennifer says, how old are your daughters? Bug Hall says, five, three, one, zero. Okay, well, congratulations on the newborn. But what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Obligatory, uh, the, the rights always talking about grooming comment hypocrisy wow look at it wow who could have seen it who could have seen this coming there actually really is no indication in this what his values are it, it could be him vetting them for their position on education to be that it should be free and available to everybody and higher education as well uh and there should be a lot of funding for it and then mothers you know should be able to work if they if that's what they want to do and if they don't there should be benefits to the entire family so that they can spend less time working more time with their family but something tells me that that's not the case. You know, the fact that they're, there's, it's an embryo he's talking about currently. That's not something you do when you're normal. And so then those other positions would be normal positions, but they're not. Just a reminder that no nut November isn't real. You can nut whenever you want. I just masturbated and it was great. No one can stop me. Uh-oh, muscly back profile picture. No nut November isn't about depriving yourself of pleasure. It's about showcasing your warrior spirit. Bro just said not jerking off showcases your warrior spirit, dude. Yo, it's so fucking fire getting no pussy and like, you know, openly telling everybody on the timeline, even though they fucking knew is actually about being a fucking warrior, dude. That's what it is. I will be Hokage one day. No pussy. I will be Hokage. It's crazy. Everyone has an internal war. The human mind versus- There's no way this is serious. I don't believe that. This is the animal body. Show your body that you are king. That you are not slave to your desires. Embrace. N, N, N. Or be normal. Just be normal. It's okay. Do whatever thing, activities you want with your friends on Reddit. But oh, that guy's a league streamer? It's a league player called Dante's? Oh, okay. He's just fucking- He's just fucking around? Yeah, okay. Well, Noah, it seems to- It seems like you just got got- and I did as well subsequently. Luckily, we are able to fix the situation. Just be normal about it, okay? Like, I, I partially understand the argument that participating in, in some kind of, like, fast, sexual fast, probably does have certain... They are a league streamer, though, so it's, like, kind of hard to tell, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, I can't be charitable to a league streamer because it's like, how can you be charitable to a serial killer? I'm just saying it's hard. It's hard to be charitable to a serial killer, which, you know, on the on the morality spectrum, I would say is like right around where league players are. You know? So it's hard. Meditative qualities. I'm sure there's, you know, no five guys are always going on about that. Go nuts. What? A, like, don't go nuts. But <laughs> brother, if no coming is you being a warrior and doing warrior spirit stuff, more power to you. Just don't. Be a reply guy about it. Thank you. Men should dress like men and women should dress like women. I think the funniest part about this is that I can say no matter what I want about league streamers, and they will usually agree with it because one, they hate all of the other league streamers, and two, perhaps more importantly, they hate themselves. I will never be able to hate a league streamer as much as a league player or streamer hates themselves. After all, they keep playing fucking league. They will say, they will agree or say, what about Valo? I agree. It's the same thing. You play any fucking thing that Riot produces and you're a psychopath. I mean, I tweeted about this earlier this morning, dude. Like, no one fucking wakes up and goes, I want to fuck my day up, fam. Okay? No. Except just, just generally culture. People and places and things and ideas going on in the world are doing this to you. So, 
Tell him to knock it off. <laughs> do you take time to examine your son's genitals? Do you teach him how to take what? a bath like a man? Have you taught him how to urinate like a man? What is it? What? Does he have testicles? Have you checked? Does he erect? Some fathers don't bother. They leave everything. Okay, these aren't real, dude. There's no fucking shot that like someone tweeted that out. That is so weird, gross, possibly illegal. That's criminal, dude. And to the mother. Hashtag man day. <laughs> Does your son have a cock? Your son have a dick and balls? Hey, you, on the street. Do you have a son? You don't? Okay. If you had a son, would it have a dick? <laughs> would it get hard? Tell me. Think really hard about it. Would it get hard? This is, I don't know if this is what Martin Luther King Jr. stood for. <laughs> this is a post in r slash Breaking Bad. Did crime make Walt's size larger? Serious. When Walt and Skyler make love after he does a crime, she says, is that you? As if his penis feels completely different. Does this show a change in Walter's cock? Dude, this is a person who's like, I think I might try this crime thing out. Like, that's literally, this is like straight up a person asking. Okay. <laughs> He's like, listen, I, it seems like his cock grew significantly enough for her to feel it. I need to know how to do this. If I do a crime, will this happen to me is what I'm asking. I'm posting this on the Reddit mobile app from the inside of a bank. I have a gun. The only time your significant other will feel that your cock has grown inches is when you subscribe to the Hassan Abi broadcast to avoid the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of every hour. There is a three minute ad break at the top of every hour. It's 3 p.m. Obviously, we're going to run that top of the hour ad break. If you want to fucking... Uh, give your significant other extra inches, extra girth. All you need to do is subscribe for $5 or for free. Or sometimes you can get that by getting gifted a sub, as a matter of fact. That's right. Um, Little Bear 36 thank you for the five gifted subs. Maze like Maze, thank you for the five gifted subs. That's right. I did bring back the mustache. That's real. If you want to see this mustache uninterrupted, then you're going to have to subscribe. Because the three-minute ad break is upon us. Woo. You act like we have girlfriends. Some of you do. I'm going to rob it because I need... I just... Someone tell me, please. I I need help. I need it. My PP small. <laughs> oh, Ian Miles Chong, a friend of Elon Musk and weird fascist uh, creep. Let's see what he has to say about masculinity. Hit on. Thank you for the fact from sucks. bad medical takes. It says, male depression is nearly always a result of learned helplessness, but health providers treat it like female depression and try to make men feel loved instead of powerful. Ian chimes in. He is 100% correct, actually. It is a based medical take. Men can never feel loved enough because we aren't built to desire it. Forcing it on us just leads to feelings of hollowness and lack of fulfillment. If you're a man and you need to feel loved, you need to alter your desires. Pursue ambition and then you will be happy. I just rise and grinded my way out of clinical depression. I started a small business and that's how I lost. Why are men so fucking ready, so willing, so able to just tell everyone how unlovable they are or how unfuckable they are. It is one of the most insane things I've ever seen, okay? It's so weird. Like, 90% of, like, the Manosphere people, whenever they're talking about women and shit, they're just basically self-reporting that they're just unfuckable. And it's odd because they develop a fan base of also unfuckable turbo virgins that are like, yo, you're so smart, dog. Thank you for telling me that I'm not the problem. Actually, it's the other women. They're the ones at fault. It's so odd. Anyone else comes out on the timeline and says, dude, I'm so unlovable, dude. I'm not meant, I'm not built for love. I, what does that say about me and my personality? It's like nobody loves me and that's why it's fucking awesome. Everyone would be like, dude, what the fuck? That's weird. Why? You should probably look into that. Like, what, what is happening? Why do you feel so unloved? You know, I'm sure there's someone who loves you. No. No one is saying that. They're like, oh, well, this guy agrees with my worldview. So, yeah, actually, he's probably right. Yeah, it is normal to not be lovable and have any love in your life. It's my mental illness. <laughs> this is like a textbook patriarchal notion. Accepting love from someone or willing to 
be loved or l try to learn to love. That's what's going to hurt you. What's better off because of how we are wired is to just ignore all of that and go make a bunch of money or whatever. Go get really good at something and until your mental health, you know, finding something you can do and strive towards. Sure, no problem. But then why not also while you're doing that, be someone who is willing to form bonds and relationships with people. I don't want no guy that do do fast. What, man, what? <laughs> that is the wildest uh, form of gendering something I've ever heard. The longer you stay in the bathroom sitting on the toilet, the more of a man you are. That's why my legs are constantly numb. You can't see it, but I'm sitting in a chair that has a hole in it because I'm becoming a big boy man as we film this today. It is funny to think about like someone going into the bathroom, pooping really quick and then getting out as being like a quick little like weird thing to do. Cause personally, you know, I like taking my time. I like relax chilling, you know, go on my phone, whatever. But what does it have to do with being a man? Like how, how are those, what are you saying? <laughs> Biggest turn off is when a guy goes in the bathroom really quick. Biggest turn on is when he's in there for hours pooping and stinking up my poopy bathroom room. Stinky boy. <laughs> That's what's hot. You know, let me let me get in there and say what's up. Poop with him. Pee, pee in the shower.